Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Dinfos Breaks Ground. The new base guides are on the street and we'll have some of last week's presidential inauguration parade with the U.S. Army Field Band. But first, our top story this week is probably the weather. Temperatures in the Fort Meade community have been stuck in the teens and 20s for the entire week. And forecasters are predicting we might not get above freezing for several more days. Despite the weather, the Defense Information School held a groundbreaking ceremony this week that marks the beginning of the school's expansion by almost 100,000 square feet. The expansion is designed to accommodate an increase in the annual student load from 2,700 to 3,500 students. Acting Director of the Defense and Media Activity, DINFOS's parent organization, Brian Whitman was the guest speaker. And perhaps we should start off with uh, 15 repetitions of jumping jacks or something like that. I, I notice that many of you have elected not to sit on the cold metal seats. You are the wise ones. But seriously, it is a, a real privilege and an honor for me to be here today and to be part of this ceremony. And in particular because we are gathered here today on this date for this break ground, groundbreaking because it was 67 years ago today, on January 23rd, 1946, that the Army activated the information school at Carlisle Barracks in Pennsylvania. This was the first military school established to provide training for what would become the public affairs career field. In the 67 years since then, there have been various mergers and moves until we have gotten to where we are here today. The Defense Information School, a premier institution that is unquestionably vital to the Defense Department. The projected completion date for the DINFOS expansion is January 2015. In other news, the 2013 Fort Meade Welcome Guide is on the street. Published annually, the guide features a ton of useful information, including the base phone book, information on housing and recreation, and a brief look at the more than 90 tenant units and organizations that call Fort Meade home. You can pick up a copy at your neighborhood center or favorite AFES or MWR facility. If you can't find a copy or your organization needs a large quantity, just stop by the Public Affairs Office on 4409 Llewellyn Avenue. In other news, last week we brought you coverage of the grand opening of Fort Meade's new USO Service Center. Well, the USO isn't wasting any time scheduling special events. On February 4th, the USO and USO Metro Washington are hosting an autograph and photo session with Ultimate Fighting Champion BJ Penn. That's coming up Monday, February 4th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. at the Fort Meade USO on the corner of Mapes and 6th Armored Cavalry Roads. Before we leave you today, as most of you know, Fort Meade is the home of the United States Army Field Band. As ambassadors of the Army, they travel all across the country and the globe. We close this week with some shots of the field band at last week's presidential inauguration. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.